for the love of God, devs, would you pull a lever? Would you do something? I'm over-invested. Oh my, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to lose the dog. The house. The dog house. Would you please increase BCT? Bonding. We can get more BCT into the treasury. We can pump that backing for each Klima. We can get people going. Let's seize this momentum. If you've been in Klima Discord or in any Ohm Fork Discord when price decreases, you've probably heard some variant of that plea to the devs to do something about the price. And that something's always increased bond capacity or something like that. And it's, it's not unreasonable, and it's a compelling argument. If we were to increase our treasury with BCT and increase the backing per Klima, then we could trade it at a, at a higher price, and uh, everyone would win, in theory, right? Um, and it's true that we have to increase our treasury, and we have to accept bonds. That's how we grow our treasury. But we have to do so at a reasonable rate, because if we don't, we risk what's called dilution. So the point of this video is to explain dilution and why we want to avoid it. So right now we have 682,000 approximate um, clima in, in, in circulation. That's our supply. But let's pretend we have 100 for the sake of simple math. 100 tokens total. We own 10. Others own 90. And we're going to play a staking game. Everybody's playing the same staking game where we're going to stake for a 10% increase after five days. So we'll multiply by 1.1. And after those five days, uh, we will have 110 tokens total. I will have 11. And then others will have 99. And the first, uh, before I, you know, in this example above here, uh, I have 10% before staking and I have 10% after staking. I have kept up with supply. I have not been diluted. Now, the thing is when we increase supply, we it will exert sell pressure, downward pressure on the price, right? So uh, not always the case because sometimes buy pressure um, will be will increase higher relative to the sell pressure. But let's assume all things are equal and, and we exert a a sell pressure that decreases the price by 10%. We've increased our quantity by 10% from here to here, but the price per token has decreased by 10%. So it's a wash. We end up with the same amount of USD. We haven't lost or gained. That's fine. Manageable. I mean, you want to go up, but hey, we haven't lost any, any USD. Now, let's add... Um, Let's add bond rewards into the equation. So 110 tokens total. You own 10. Others own 90. And we're going to play the same staking game with these. So we're going to apply a 10% increase. Um, and then we have to add 100, let's say, from bonding. This would be an extreme amount of bond, but let's do it to, to prove the point. At the end of the day, there'd be 210 tokens total. You would own 11 and 100 and 9 are owned by others. That's the uh, 99 that came from staking. Oh my god, 209. My bad. I'm sorry, 199. What am I thinking? That's the 99 that came from staking plus the 100 from bonding. So now your share would be 11 out of the, two, the 210. That is less than 10%. You have lost a share of the, of the supply. And when we apply the downward sell pressure... Um, you are going to end up with a, a token price that's less likely than what you started with. And uh, your USD value will be less than what it was. You have just been diluted. The increase of supply from the bonding has given you less of a share of the total supply. And the quantity, uh, the increase in quantity has driven down the price and you have been diluted. So... Assume that this dilution uh, decreases incentives for stakers, and it does. If the dilution is very high, like in the previous example, a staker will not stake. Price will plummet. And if the incentives to bond are greater than the incentives to stake, then, stake, then bonders going to bond, get their discount, and dump after their vestment period. It creates a sell-off. It creates a cascade of sell pressure. And we want to avoid this. Um, on top of it, it's just it's not ethical to, to tell people who are um, staking and investing long-term that their investment gets diluted. That's not, that's not the game we're playing. 
We're not telling people, hey, believe in the project, lock your tokens up, and we're going to dilute you. It's just not, not an ethical thing to do as far as I'm concerned. And, but then people could point to other pro protocols and say, well, they are doing this. They are diluting at a rate of 70%. I'm not going to name names. Um, and they're, they're, there's a tre tremendous amount of buy pressure that will just keep pushing the price up and up and up. Well, what I would say to that is just give it time. Here's the problem with this. You might get away with this in the short term, but here's the problem of inflating your supply early on uh, in a protocol's life. So let's say that we have 680,000 uh, tokens currently, and we're going to play a game where we're going to inflate the supply by 100, through, 100 times through uh, APY. So we're going to do 680,000. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, yeah, 680,000, 1, 2, 3, there we go, we'll put a 0, uh, and now we're going to multiply that by the 100, so we'll attack two zeros on there, and we, you could see that in a, in a year at, at, a, at a 10k APY, our supply will be at 68 million, so assume that we inflate our supply through bonding to 780k, so now our new supply after a year at that APY, will be 78 million. So that plus 100K on the front end turns into 10 million on the back end. Our supply has just increased by 10 million, which means that an enormous amount of sell pressure will be exerted through this, um, through this increase in supply. Now, this can be negated if the buy pressure, if more new money enters the space rapidly. But because APY is aggressive in these protocols, and because it's an exponential function, you are going to need exponentially more money to come into the system to keep it afloat. And if you start with an inflated amount on the front end, on the back end, the amount, uh, the, the amount of um, buy pressure needed to keep price up will be enormous. At a certain point, here's the word, impossible. Now, it's true that all of these Ponzi games that all of these protocols are playing are going to require more value to enter the protocol to keep the price up. But you want that to be reasonable and sustainable. Because if you start inflating your supply with these APYs or any amount of APY, on the back end, the pressure the necessity to increase the amount of money flowing into your protocol will be unsustainable. Avoid dilution as you would avoid a crappy ohm fork. Suck that carb carbon. Let's go, Klima. Bidness Pepe forever.